10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, we have a liftoff, liftoff. After more than half a century, humanity is returning to the moon, not to land yet, but to prove we're ready. This is Artemis II, a historic crewed lunar flyby and a vital step on the path to sustainable lunar exploration and future trips to Mars. Artemis II is NASA's first crewed mission beyond low Earth orbit since Apollo 17 in 1972. It's part of the Artemis program an ambitious effort to establish a long-term human presence on the moon, starting with flybys, then landings, and eventually a lunar base. Four astronauts will make history on Artemis II. Reed Wiseman, Commander, Victor Glover, Pilot, Christina Koch, Mission Specialist, Jeremy Hansen, Mission Specialist, Canadian Space Agency. Artemis II will ride NASA's mighty space launch system or SLS, one of the most powerful rockets ever built. It will launch the Orion spacecraft, purpose-built for deep space travel. To understand Artemis II, let's walk through the mission step by step. The mission begins at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Space Launch System, NASA's most powerful rocket, ignites and begins the climb to space, pushing over 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. After reaching space, the upper stage places Orion into a temporary Earth parking orbit. The crew will spend roughly 90 minutes circling the planet while systems are checked out and aligned for the deep space phase of the mission. With systems green, the upper stage performs the crucial maneuver known as the translunar injection burn. This boosts Orion out of Earth orbit and onto a trajectory toward the Moon at speeds close to 40,000 kilometers per hour, or about 25,000 miles per hour. For several days, Orion coasts through cislunar space, the vast region between Earth and the Moon. During this phase, the crew monitors spacecraft performance, performs navigation tests, and conducts demonstrations of deep space operations. The spacecraft then performs a close flyby of the moon. At its closest approach, Orion passes just tens of kilometers above the lunar surface. Lunar gravity then bends the spacecraft's path and sends it onto a long arc around the far side of the moon. As Orion reaches Earth, it plunges into the atmosphere traveling around 39,000 kilometers per hour, generating temperatures near 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The spacecraft uses a skip-entry technique, bouncing off the upper atmosphere to reduce g-forces and improve landing accuracy. Artemis II is not just a test flight, it's a science mission. The crew will gather data on human performance, radiation exposure, cognitive effects, communication latency, and deep space habitability. All of it prepares future astronauts for longer missions, including lunar surface stays and trips to Mars.